Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Callum. And I'm Sam. And today we're having a look at the 23rd Street Hybrid Whiskey. All right, this is one we've put off a little bit because like previously we've been a little bit iffy on the notes and stuff. Yeah. It's, I don't know, it's, anyway, this, all right, we'll, we'll just get into it though. Um, we'll explain it. This is a South Australian whiskey, mm -hmm. um, South Australian, do you, can you really call it South Australian? It's, it, it's a clearly um, sourced whiskey. Uh, it's called Hybrid mm. Whiskey. The brand is 23rd Street. Uh, they do some good gins we've had. Have yeah, they've the got gin, the gin's gin. nice, but um, whiskey wise, I'm not sure. This is where the whiskey in Australia becomes a bit dodgy. Uh, it just, um, yeah, it just becomes difficult to know what the hell's going on. This is this clearly is, sourced. This is sourced from because, both like, Scotland and, it's and bourbon America. and Scotland. Yeah, so. exactly. So like, I mean, well, there's no confusion because the whole thing is called hybrid whiskey. It's mm. the marrying of both scotch and bourbon as, you know, putting together the, the best of both worlds. So there's no confusion in if it's sourced because it's impossible to make your own scotch and bourbon yeah. in Australia. So <laughs> of course it's sourced, but like, it's still like, I don't know. It's, it's a weird one. So I don't remember the last time we had any of this. Probably like it's well over a year ago. Like, like, look, there's that much left. Like, we've clearly had some, but I don't remember ever. Like, we must have drank majority of this before we started our channel. Oh yeah, because sure. I don't remember drinking it at all. Ignore the glasses, by the way. We're just we have to see every episode. No, we're, we're getting <laughs> yeah. When we're here, we're getting blank cans, but I don't know. Not much we can do. I mean, besides get blank cans, <laughs> ten dollars. <laughs> Probably should just got one. It's just weird. I don't know how I to. I just don't know what the hell to it. think of it. It's got a sweet floral nose, mm. but also this warm. Kind of. It's like a heat. There's like a, a warm sweetness. What's the alcohol like? Forty or forty six? I assume it's forty. Where is only the options are forty or forty six? Uh -huh. Oh my god. That's the only spot it says it. That's <laughs> insane. I don't know if like it's not gonna focus, but there's like a down the very bottom of the label. It's See how small that writing is. You're not gonna be able to read it, but the bottom, I think, on your screen right side, it says it, and it's forty two point three. Jesus, so I've never yeah. seen a whiskey just hide the ABV so much. Like where it's distilled and stuff, yeah, but. Not the ABV. So it's on the low end, so that heat is probably... It's just got some weird warmth. Not getting the bourbon barrel kind of thing. No, no, no. no. Um, I'd it's say it's more, it's, it's sharp. It's, more than it's hanging on the scotch end of things more than the bourbon. Mm. Um, I don't know what ratio they use with... I do get vanilla, mixing. though, which normally tends to be with the bourbon. Yeah. It's actually a lot of vanilla for me. But I feel like I get that from some scotches as well, so... The nose is weird. It's just sweet. Uh, Which I, I know, do we know what distillery no. they come from? No, I couldn't find it. It might list somewhere, but I couldn't find it no. directly. Honey, like the like there's it tastes like there's actual honey in this. Honey sweetness. There's some maltiness, but not like I've ever had with scotch. It's no. too. Uh, I don't know. Like it sits in the background. It's like a wishy washy malt. It's just yeah. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> you love that word. Um, <laughs> not even a word. Wishy washy wish term. Um, the, yeah, the malt is definitely like a background thing. Yeah. It's there, but it's not like a uh, like you get with a regular scotch in like a Highland or Space Side or whatever. It's like a ground um, almond note, which I find yes. in some Space Sides. I think there it is, is uh, like some almond, some waxy kind of almond. Yeah. Note. Yeah. The nose is super simple. I don't get much off it. It's just taste, sweet. The me, taste though. offers more. Yeah, no, me too. Um, the taste offers more, but I don't know. I'd say it's better. It's just a little bit of chocolate. Maybe not chocolate. Maybe like cocoa or something on the taste. It's got some uh, ethanol burn. Yeah, for sure. It's not like it's not like high proof alcohol heat and density density burn. It's like cheap blended. Ethanol burn. It's I mean, like this spiking into yeah. the dances on your tongue, but it doesn't have a flavour. Yeah, this was only um, 
fifty-five dollars. I think oh, it was. It is. Yeah, it's not very. That's expensive. surprising. Not because I think it's worth more, but because like Australian whiskeys, just in general, even though it's all sourced, but mm. normally Australian whiskeys charge quite a bit, even in Australia. Unsourced whiskey is more expensive as well because you have to go to the effort of actually sorting. I mean, depends who who it's who, 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 who for. Yeah. The, the color. Look at the color of it. I would say it's about ninety percent scotch and ten percent bourbon, because bourbon normally has that rich. Yeah, but we know how old any of it came from. Yeah, like bourbon can be two two years. Oh no, no, sorry. Bourbon can be a minute old if it wants. It can be ten seconds. So you're right. It could just be anything. Um, scotch is minimum three, I believe. Because this looks more. We've got a scotch sitting scotchy. in front of us that I'm looking at, but it looks yeah. extremely similar. Yeah, it's the same like pale gold color, um, but also flavor wise, it's more reminiscent yeah. of a scotch than For a sure. bourbon. I'm really not getting much of the bourbon. I'm not getting in. <laughs> I'm not getting individual notes. I'm just getting like either sweetness. I'm getting sweetness and then a finish. There's no like layers to the actual flavors when I drink it. It's just flat. It's like it's, it's sweetness. It's sweet. It's a sweet. It's like up. a sweet maltiness. And then sweet flat. musky maltiness and then it's like not like I wouldn't even say it's got a dry finish it's just like the way the alcohol dances on your tongue yeah no. but not again not in a like a density of flavors kind of way it's more just genuinely like something kind of sparky mm. like it's it's not I don't know it's a bizarre drink I understand why it's been so long since I've tasted it because I just don't know what I think about it yeah people always come in asking for different variants of this whiskey though as in like the the distill oh I mean, not distillery but the brand like Twenty Third Street yeah yeah sorry yeah the, the they distillery for it. yeah apparently they're really nice whiskeys that aren't this but I haven't firstly seen them yeah or, heard of them or tasted them <laughs> or tasted them yeah but apparently they know. do do nice things but I'm I'm not surprised know. like I'm sure that they can get something out uh, to be honest this is probably nice to some people this is not like it's not. It doesn't turn me away and be like, ugh, disgusting, get out. You shouldn't be making whiskey. Mm. Make it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's more just like, it's just really simple and I yeah. just don't really know what to make of it. It's Grasping for straws. I, I, I don't know. This one's a weird one. I don't know about 23rd Street. It's it's one that like I've seen everywhere. I want to feel good about it because it's Australian, Australian, but there's... Yeah. There's something wrong with yeah. it. Well, not wrong with it, but there's but us, <laughs> something there. Our kind yeah. of thing, um, and we're not like digging on them even because it's sourced. Because sourced whiskey is fine. We don't have any issue with blends and sourced whiskies and stuff like that. It's just more the general taste is really kind of hard to nail down individual flavors and stuff. I feel like it'd be a good mixer. Yeah. No, I, I was about to with say something, or something like that. It's sweet it's and it's sweet, simple. Yeah. It would be there, but not enough to get in the way of whatever mixer it is. Mm. I feel like it would be fine. It's cheap enough to be a decent mixer. Um, yeah. What Plus do you say, 50 are, something? Yeah, 55, I think it was. Yeah, that's fine. Look, Plus I, they I, are targeting the mixing audience yeah. in gin specifically. That's, that's fine. So they could expand upon yeah. that with... Yeah, that's fine. That um, I reckon we should try some of their other stuff. They do gin, they do... They do vodka now, don't they? They do, they do everything. They do like basically everything, which is fine. That's probably what the distillery should be doing, especially when they're just getting like started. Because, yep. like, what do you, you you got? Nothing aged. You got to if you're only selling your own stuff, then you got to wait. You know, five years, ten years, twelve years, whatever, mm -hmm. however, whatever age you want your whiskey to be before you can sell it. So, one understandable that they'd source whiskey, and um, two understandable that they'd sell gin and. Gin vodka as well. Yeah, if you uh, like this episode, maybe leave us a like. If you want to see future episodes from us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, if you do, we'll really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.